Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to check and change the network settings of your HP printer. That's assuming it's uh, connected to the uh, network, you know, either network cable or wireless. And even if it's uh, USB connected, you can still kind of look at some of these settings. So what you want to do, the easiest way is to download the HP Smart app. You get it from the Microsoft Store. And once you download it, you click on Open. And then it's going to have to find your printer, so make sure your printer is connected. Otherwise, you're going to have to configure it to uh, be used with this program to begin with. So it has my laser printer here. So what you want to do is go into the printer settings. And then you have this network information if you want to see this here. So this is kind of basic overview that it's using. Uh, it's not using wireless. It's, or the wireless is on. It's not connected. Uh, Ethernet not connected. is using USB. I don't know why that says not connected because it is. Uh, actually, I actually have two two printers for this. I have a wireless version and a non wireless version. So we're going to go to the advanced settings here, and then networking, and you'll see all your basic information here for the summary. So here's the IP address, you know, the gateway, the subnet mask. It's using DHCP, and the DHCP server is using this address, and the TCP IPv6 stuff. Uh, domain name or host name, I should say. I'm going to show you how to change this if you want to make it something more uh, readable or something you could recognize. Domain name is LAN. So it's not connected to wired. So here's the wireless. So connected, wireless is on, network name, SSID, so on. So if you want to go just in the IPv4 configuration, you could do that. And if you want to change this from DHCP to manual, put it in your own address, you could come here and do that. Anyway, you can also change the subnet mask and gateway if needed. And of course, V6 if you want to get into that. And here's the wireless configuration. So it says it's connected. You could turn it off from here if you want. You could also turn it off from the printer too. Um, configuration method, what bands you're going to use. Then if you want to select a different one from the list or, or add your own SSID and authentication password. And Wi-Fi Direct, so this is used if you want to connect a mobile device like your phone, you could turn this on, give it a name, give it a password, so then when you connect with your phone, you'd put in this password here. And then network identification, so here's the host name, so if I wanted to change this to, let's say, uh, well, actually, let's, before we do that, let's do a little check here. So if I do a NS lookup of... 2.168.1.70, that's the printer IP address. It gives us the host name here that's going to match this. So if we change this, let's say LJ, and this is a M118. You could change the LAN name if you want. And then there's also the DNS settings here you could go in and change. Wind settings, bonjour settings. And if I click on apply, Okay, so now let's do a uh, NS lookup again. Okay, so it took a second for it to uh, uh, add the configuration, so that's why I got this non-existent domain the first time, and then the second time I found it with LM, L, LJM118, so that worked. Then you have some advanced settings here. If you want to enable or disable some features, just you know, be careful if you're connected. If you start disabling things and changing things, you might lose the connection to your printer. So internet printing protocol, syslog, link speed, all that other good stuff. So once again, printer settings, advanced settings, networking. Then you can do your summary and you can go through and change all this information as needed and get your... Uh, uh, HP printer working the way you like on the network. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.